Kiorofano, welcome to my YouTube channel, Thrill Seeking Adventures. Join us today as we embark on an epic trip down to the Marlborough Sounds at the top of the South Island in New Zealand. We have an epic three day mission as we hunt yellowtail kingfish and many other species such as blue cod, butterfish, and our main target for the weekend. New Zealand crayfish again and again better known as rock lobster we have some epic feeds of crumbed fish lobster creamed power and much more we're staying three days in a secluded cove Deep in the Marlborough Sounds, just us living off the land, epic trip, epic weather, you don't want to miss this. We catch the Cook Strait Ferry, as you can see here, my friend is exhausted after a long overnight drive from Auckland down to Wellington to catch the ferry. Straight away, we're off the ferry, picked up by the boys on the boat, and off to hit our first spot. We jump in the water and we're greeted by hundreds and hundreds of jellyfish all over the place. Pretty cool to see. This is my first experience diving with so many jellyfish. So I'm just having some fun here, checking them out, having a good look. It's not the best conditions. It's a little bit murky and it's quite rainy and stormy above the water, but we've traveled a long way to get here. So we're not about to waste any time. We're straight into it wanting to get into the water, not missing a day. I load up my spear gun and we're on the hunt for yellowtail kingfish on this rock just in the middle of the sounds. Very stormy, but as I said, we are super keen to get into it. No, that's not about to deter us. After about two hours and not a lot of luck, we cruise around the corner for we find a more sheltered bay and this big yellowtail kingfish comes in. My mate shoots it with the spear. Unfortunately, I missed this part on the video, but here is him, once he's got it in his hands, holding it up for the camera to show us all. It's a nice kingfish, respectable size, around the 15 kg mark, and that's gonna feed the boys for the weekend. Great start. Hey, living good, boys. Day two on the sounds. What a day. Lads are set. Gears loaded up. Woohoo! The boys trailing us on the other boat. I am the captain now. What a day! We're in the water, and again, there's jellyfish about cruising around so i pop my gopro on get a quick video of this guy up close and we're into it we start off in the shallows just warming up going for power there's plenty of nice size power around which is something you really don't see in the northland very much especially north of auckland so i am absolutely pumped to get me a nice feed of power first one on the board and I'm going to get my quota to start off. There's plenty of power about and we've got plenty of mouths to feed. As I said, very rare you find legal power north of Auckland. So, very much a treat for me. I get another one here. Continue my power diving for the first few minutes of the dive. Just to make sure I've got my quota and we've got a nice feed of power later for the boys and me. Nice 
another one here just off the side of the rocks very shallow water super easy to dive before I started spearfishing I actually grew up just getting power and killing so very nice and easy to start off the dive and an awesome little nice big one here that's stuck to the rocks so I pull out the knife to cut it off and she's a beauty don't get them that size up in the north or at least I don't know where to my friend Will here diving down for some big big kinna we're not big kinna eaters though I know a lot of New Zealanders absolutely love them but we're just here to use it as barely better pest control as soon as he's popped that kinna the fish just come running in from all over the place heaps of so Will pops down lines one up he's fairly new to spear fishing so he's just enjoying himself here trying to find a decent sized fish to to get the first one of the trip for himself there's a couple larger sized fish in there so he pops down points out the biggest one and gets a spear into it now we later find out that they're not the best tasting fish but we're not about to waste it so we take it home and cook it up and share it with I'm on the hunt here for crayfish there's a few small ones in this crack here but I think there might be a deeper one further down get right in there there's one further down in the back so I reach in for a grab and no luck he takes off right into the back of the cave nice little school of fish coming here they have a nosy at me I'm not actually sure what these fish are so if you know what they are please drop a comment in the comment section letting us know always trying to identify the species in the water I'm fairly new to this sport so trying to find them out can always be a bit tricky we continue diving here looking for crayfish under big cracks and gullies and I can see the legs of a nice one here so I slowly go in shoot for the grab and come up short yet again too slow found another good crack here I take a dive down see a few lurking about on the edge so I reach in go for the grab again coming up short not fast enough today but we're not about to stop looking around find another spot here diving down deep under the kelp bang my head on the rock and there's a little crab there to have a little giggle at me straight back up for a breath we're not about to give up there I find another good crack take a dive down deep under the kelp you can't see it on camera but there's a nice lobster in the back here so I reach in full commitment hand deep in the hole I've got a hold of his head here but unfortunately the antenna breaks and it slips back into the hole I charge up my breath hoping that he's still in the same crack a couple fish buzzing around there having a little squabble don't get distracted hopefully he's still around I take another dive down deep under the kelp right into this crack I can see he's still there in the back of the cave so I reach in just getting my fingertips on him but unfortunately I'm out of breath and no luck there a third attempt on the same crack I finally get a good look at him reach my hand in the back and I've got a hold of him this time I'm stoked my first cray ever and after three or four yes! failed attempts on different spots and even three attempts on the same cray I've got my first one can share it with the boys 
back in. Right? Keep diving about here, looking for more craze. This is actually my bro's footage. Uh, he's a lot more experienced than me, especially with the crayfish. Ends up getting about five or six this day. He's having a good tussle with this one here. And he pulls out a nice, nice crayfish. Another quick clip of him wrestling, wrestling the t another cray out here. Deep in the kelp. Here's a video later in the day of him shooting a kingfish, but unfortunately he only had one rubber on his gun and it's quite a long shot, so it busts off. Check out this crayfish just hugging onto this power and the power hugging him back. And there's our catch for the day. Plenty of power, plenty of craze, plenty of different species. Butterfish, blue cod, crumb the fish up, cook some craze. And the good old fashioned seafood feed. Day two with the boys. We've got power, minced power patties, fried, and we are eating good tonight. Check it out, crayfish, power patties, and multiple species of freshly caught blue cod, butterfish, and kingfish crumb. Here's a shot of where we're staying, a beautiful remote cove out in the Marlborough Sounds. It's actually my friend's family property. They've built it up over the years and they've been here for over a hundred years. So it's got some wicked history. quick pick with the boys and unfortunately the GoPro dies and I don't get any footage this day. We manage a good haul of crayfish again and that's the end of the trip. We had an amazing amazing time. I would definitely recommend coming down here if you ever get the chance to in New Zealand. A beautiful amazing place for diving, spearfishing and fishing. And So if you like the video, please support the channel, like and subscribe. Lots more fishing, spear fishing and thrill seeking adventures will be coming out. I'm just getting started, I'm only learning the ropes here, so bear with me. The content will be better every time. Thank you, goodbye.